What's up guys, I'm Jacob Suggs, and today I'm finally back because my allergies have just been going non-stop lately. That's probably why I sound a little bit messed up right now. Uh, I just haven't had the time to sit down and do a video because I've been coughing up a storm the past couple days. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear a video of me trying to discuss something in depth while I'm also just like hacking non-stop. But I'm finally back today to discuss something that I've been asked numerous times and now I'm properly going to debunk. <laughs> now there's no denying that A Quiet Place looks like an incredibly intriguing film. In fact, right now it's honestly one of my most anticipated movies of this year and I can't wait to see it. Ever since I first saw that trailer attached to Justice League, it's piqued my interest and with the smaller TV spots like the one shown before the Super Bowl, have continued to shroud the film in mystery and definitely have alerted my attention to it. And if you know me or watch this channel at all, then you know that this stuff is right up my alley. I love films that intentionally undermarket themselves in order to sell the movie as a whole, and in a world where we seem to know what to expect when it comes from big blockbusters these days, it's good to see films like this that essentially just leave us asking more questions than giving us you know, a ton of answers. Now, I usually do an analysis of the Cloverfield movies on this channel, as well as talk about other films I enjoy and am interested in, but I seem to get asked the same question all the time. Is A Quiet Place the next Cloverfield movie, or is at least attached to the Cloverfield universe? Honestly, I don't think so, but let's talk about why people think that it is first, because I feel like to understand why it isn't, you need to understand why some people think that it is. There's a compelling argument to be made, as in the trailer, the brief few glimpses that we see the monster, the monster seems to have a very similar design to the aliens in 10 Cloverfield Lane. Not to mention that the monsters are attracted to sounds, which is the catalyst for the premise of the film, being quiet. But what does that premise have to do with 10 Cloverfield Lane? Well, in the third act of that film, Michelle is hiding in a barn trying to be as quiet as she can, and right when the alien is about to find her and eventually kill her, Michelle presses a panic button on a set of keys, alerting the alien to an alarm going off on a car off in the distance with like flashing lights and whatnot. The aliens in that movie seem to be distracted by sound, and for that reason, some people believe that the same aliens are attacking John Krasinski and his family in a quiet place. It's a solid guess, and although this could be true, it could also be a massive coincidence, which I personally think that it is. I think that a flashing car with bright lights and an alarm going off is pretty distracting, so I don't think this is a connection that necessarily works, though it is a good argument to be made despite this being just one big coincidence to me personally. Another reason why people believe this film is in the Cloververse is because there's a truck in this trailer that looks almost identical to Howard's truck in 10 Cloverfield Lane. But if I remember correctly, that truck was destroyed at the end of that movie after Michelle throws the Molotov cocktail in that giant alien ship's mouth, so I also don't think this is a good connection either, and once again, I just think that this is a coincidence. Sure, this could be before the ending of 10 Cloverfield Lane, but I don't think that works considering that A Quiet Place looks to take place in a different location than 10 Cloverfield Lane does. And Howard doesn't own a barn either, though that's heavily implied to be owned by the family that John Krasinski has in that movie. Finally, another reason why people believe that this is connected is because John Krasinski was set to play a character in the Cloverfield Paradox, but ultimately dropped out last minute. People think that he chose to star in and direct this film instead of just being in Paradox, but I think that decision was made due to scheduling conflicts and the fact that, to put it lightly, the Cloverfield Paradox didn't have the best script, even though I personally enjoyed that movie. Perhaps the biggest reason why this film probably isn't connected to the Cloverfield universe is because when you look on IMDb or Wikipedia or whatever, this movie is not being produced by Bad Robot. Sure, Paramount is producing and distributing the movie, but it's also being produced by Platinum Dunes, and that's all I could find. There's no sign of Bad Robot anywhere, and perhaps that's due to them wanting to keep this project secret until the film is released in theaters, which would honestly be insane and completely blow my mind. However, I don't think that's the case, and considering that we got a new Cloverfield movie literally last month unexpectedly, 
I don't think the bad robot would want to start overloading audiences with a new Cloverfield movie again and again and again and again and again. I mean, after a while, and I'm not saying that people necessarily would, but wouldn't you become disinterested in a franchise or be like, I need to watch all of these before I see this? I mean, it just feels like if you keep pumping out these movies, it might become too much. Cloverfield is definitely a great franchise and a really cool idea for a franchise. However, too much of a good thing is pretty much a bad thing. This could also hurt the movie since they've already been marketing it for so long now, and I don't think the Bad Robot or J.J. Abrams have any involvement in this film whatsoever. Granted, Michael Bay is producing A Quiet Place, but that's because he's good friends with John Krasinski, who was in 13 Hours. Now, if you don't know why I brought up Michael Bay, it's because Michael Bay and J.J. Abrams do have a history of helping one another produce films and say, hey, I'll show your trailer before my my movie and vice versa, but I don't think that's the case this time. Honestly, A Quiet Place just seems like another big gamble for Paramount, but I'm still excited to see the film, as it certainly has piqued my interest, and if you look at both trailers and the small TV spots for this movie, I definitely think that it is something worth checking out. Granted, I looked up the screenwriter's uh, other projects that they've worked on and those aren't as good however i'm gonna give a quiet place the benefit of the doubt because it certainly has piqued my interest and i'm a sucker for mysterious movies so why not and hear me out if this is a cloverfield movie after all i'm not gonna complain i can't wait to see where this franchise goes and if the film really does throw us a curveball and say hey it's a cloverfield movie you didn't expect that then it'll only pique my interest even more and will honestly increase my hype for the movie. And yes, it was explained through the Cloverfield Paradox as to how different universes hold different monsters, but that doesn't mean that every single mysterious movie is automatically connected to Cloverfield, unless you're Super 8. Maybe. But considering all of the factors that I've discussed and the fact that we got a new Cloverfield movie just last month on Netflix, I find it really unlikely that A Quiet Place is connected to Cloverfield, but once again, if it is connected and it is revealed last minute that boom, this is a Cloverfield movie and we managed to stay out of the marketing and everything for this movie, that is brilliant and it would blow my mind. So I mean it works either way, I'm happy with it not being one and I'm happy with it being one. However, I think the potential still is there either way, so it certainly has piqued my interest and I can't wait to see the movie next month. Granted, there's another movie coming out next month that I'm also very excited to see, so we'll see how the box office goes. <laughs> that being said, if I missed anything, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I love discussing these kinds of movies and I can't wait to talk about A Quiet Place. So that being said, uh, do you think that A Quiet Place is Cloverfield 4 or a Cloverfield movie at all? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, I'm Frame by Frame. Remember the name, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.